Hey YouTubers, I'm back again. Look, I just want to show a few little things that's happening right now. Um, at the moment, we're sort of, let's see if we can get a bit of a clear shot here. Look at that. What you're looking at right now is an actual beehive. It's got bees in there and stuff like that. Come all the way down below. You get to see all the bees. Pretty cool, huh? There you go, guys. It's an actual beehive. I'll back up a bit so you can see it. It's a good beehive, obviously. Pretty cool, pretty cool. The queen bee is somewhere in here. I can't exactly see where she is. It could be the other side, so I'll just whip around. Here we go, look at it. I've just been told that down below is the queen bee. Um, somewhere in here, down below at the bottom of the car. Hang on. I've got somebody coming over and she's going to try and point it out for me. So let's see if she can spot it. Your face is in the way, by the way, just to let you know. <laughs> okay. okay, so where's the queen bee exactly, do you think? The queen bee is the biggest one. Yeah. And all the bees are facing her. Okay, so the queen bee is the biggest one and all the bees are facing her. I just like dead in the middle. If you look at all the bees facing in the middle there, that's the queen bee. <laughs> That's the queen bee. So there you go, people. We found the queen bee. And of course, yeah, so come across this way. It's a pretty good constructive hive. They're actually coming through this tube here. So they come all the way up the top there, come all the way down, and then slowly make their way, obviously, in and out of the actual um, hive. So it's pretty good. And of course, yeah, so it's pretty good. Anyway, the reason why I decided to upload this video is because bees are very, very important. Now, um, I'll just go through what a bee actually does and how they go. So, I'll come over here so everybody can see this. Okay, honey bees are assigned job based on their age, right? So, uh, for instance, for the worker bee, okay, um, one to two days old spend their time cleaning cells starting with the one they were born in and keeping the brood warm. Three to five days old, they feed older larvae. Six to 11 days old, they feed the youngest larvae. And 12 to 17 days old, they produce wax, build combs, carry food and perform undertaker duties. 18 to 21 days old, they perform guard duty, protecting the hive entrance. And at 22 days on or on until their death at around 10 to 45 days, they fly from the hive collecting pollen, nectar, water, pollinating plants, etc. So obviously, you know, the life of a bee is a very hectic one. And you got to see right here, the actual, one of the beehives that are sort of kept. Now, what I'm gonna do, take you over somewhere important. Just bear with me. Now, here's something very important a lot of people don't know. Did you know honey bees everywhere are dying? And they are. Now, the thing is about honey bees and why is this reason here. Mites, pesticides, lack of habitat and food, loss of flower meadows, of course, no one to look after them. There has been a decrease of 30% of Australian commercial beekeepers since 2008 and weather patterns. Now, the rest of the world seems to be suffering quite a lot of bee loss as well. Um, and, you know, that's not a good thing. Now, what it means is this. No honey, right? Obviously, no bees to populate crops, our supermarkets, would have half the amount of fruit and vegetables. We could lose up to 70% of our crops that feed 90% of the world. We may lose all the plants that bees pollinate, all the animals that eat, eat those plants and so on up the food chain. A world without bees could struggle to sustain the global human population of seven billion people. So people, this is very, very important. You're probably asking yourself now, well, you know, that's all good and said and done, but me, I just sit at home or, you know, I just go to my nine to five job or whatever I do. Um, how can I actually help? You know, I'm just a subscriber. I'm just a viewer. And what can I actually do? Well, we do have some things that you can do. How you can help. Know where your local honey, obviously your honey comes from and buy it local and organic. Plant fruit and vegetables. Plant flowers. Don't use pesticides, especially ones containing neonicotinoids, which is neonix. Have a water source for bees at home. Host a hive if you know a beekeeper, let them have access to your land. One hive in each home could increase the bee population greatly. 
donate or join associations, become an advocate or even better, a beekeeper. Um, I would find out a little bit about that if I were you before you start hosting bees. But yeah, obviously it can be done and you can do it in a safe way. Buy local organic food from a farmer you know. Now, the thing is, um, the bees are going to be very thankful. We'll just cut down here very quickly, okay? As you can see, if we were ever to see the extinction of the honeybee, uh, humankind would obviously, you know, follow four years thereafter. So they're saying that humans would suffer quite a bit out of this. So, by the way, most places when they do their, um, put the queen bee in the hive, they usually do paint them with a green thing, just to let you know that they're the queen bee. So, yeah, stuff like that. So. I'll show you, show you a few uh, pictures. As you can see, it's quite a lot that goes on with um, the honeybee. Quite interesting. Here's one of the natural hives that are out in the uh, open. I think that's actually connected to a tree. Most people would associate that with a wasp, wasp hive, but it's not. It's actually a honeybee hive. So yeah, up to here. It's quite interesting stuff. And of course, the last one is on the honeybee itself. Now people, I hope that you really, really enjoyed this uh, information session. Um, and if you like um, honeybees, um, you know, you could explore a bit more. Look, I'll, I'll tell you what, before we go, I'll give some fast facts on the honeybee. And you can, uh, at the end of it, you can subscribe um, and share and press like. Uh, on on my thing here at the uh, towards the end, you will see a either another video. It's got an icon link that will come up um, of another video that you can go to that's on my channel. Or if you see my little uh, round icon with the superhero uh, on it, uh, you'll you'll see that it's a little round icon. You can click it, and that takes you directly to my channel. So pretty good stuff. I've got tons of other videos that I've uploaded and I hope to see you there. But before I go, I'll just do some fast facts for you and I'll come over here. Fast facts. Honey never expires. The liquid gold was found, obviously was found in three years, uh, sorry, we'll start again, was found in three year, 3,000 year old Egyptian tombs and was still edible. So after 3,000 years in an Egyptian tomb, someone obviously got their spoon out and decided to go, mm, mm, this is pretty cool, yum yum. <laughs> Trust me, I wouldn't do it, but obviously they, they, they say it's good, so yeah. It takes about two million flowers to make one pound of honey. Now that's a lot of flowers, right? Two million. One bee will make one and a half teaspoon of honey in her, in her whole lifetime. So one bee makes one, one slash twelve honey, a uh, teaspoon of honey. Bees can recognize human faces. Did you know that? The bees can recognize human faces and get to know their beekeeper. So yeah. Bees pollinate one third of the food that you eat. The honeybee's wings stroke incredibly fast, about 200 beats per second. So I don't know what a hummingbird is, but obviously a bee's pretty quick, uh, thus making their famous distinctive buzz. So when they flap 200 beats a second, that's that bzzz. So yeah, there you go. Honeybee can fly for up to six miles and as fast as 15 miles per hour. Probably not as fast as a car or, or a full on sprinting dog, but still pretty quick. A hive of bees will fly 90,000 miles, the equivalent of three orbits around the Earth to collect one kilogram of honey. As you can see, a honeybee visits 50 to 100,000 during a collection trip. Honeybees communicate with one another by dancing, so they do like a little dancy, buzzy thingy thing. Bees are responsible for pollinating 70 to of the 100 crops that provide 90% of world's food here. So there is your fast food. Backs. I'll pull it out a little bit and if you want to uh, do a picture for yourself and have it on your desktop or whatever so you can always come back to it that's good so all right guys I really hope you enjoy it I'll zoom out on the last bit here so you can see all the little information together and this is where I got all my info here it is here as you can see you could probably take a picture if you wanted to or zoom down or whatever you want to do I don't tell my subscribers how they do things, they just do what they want to do. Alright guys, have a great day and subscribe and view my other videos and by the way, give me a thumbs up um, because I do try to upload original content. Content. I don't uh, try to you know, steal anyone else's ideas or I don't upload anyone else's videos on my channel because I think 
you know, you guys deserve better than that. So I'm going to go out of my way to absolutely try my best to give original content and stuff. And all I ask is you just give me a thumbs up and, you know, make a good comment if you can in the comment section and stuff like that. And um, yeah, it's all good. All right, guys, have a great day. Peace out. Cheers. And I'll see you later.